Hey queens, welcome back to your girl Jess and Jo. Wow. And today's look is a no makeup makeup look with acne prone skin. So as you can see, she's popped that one. You popped that one, didn't you? I think so. Rude. And Bella attacked that one, poor thing, yesterday. And then she's got some hormonal breakouts here as well as scarring. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it with very minimal makeup. You probably only need two to three products. And this is just for when you don't really wanna wear makeup, but you also wanna look a bit a little bit fresh, you know what I mean? So let's get to the video. If you like these videos, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help me out. And leave me a comment on what you want to see next and if you like this video. Thank you. So obviously after you apply your sunscreen and put your cream on, you want to get straight into it. I would never recommend not applying any cream to the face because it really does help everything settle in properly. I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is in medium. So if I point that to the skin, it's pretty much similar skin tone. You want to get a concealer that's pretty much the same as your skin tone. And why are you smiling? Because I can't see. Oh. I'm also using a drugstore concealer just to prove to you that you don't need a high-end one. So I'm going to be putting this on the back of my hand, obviously for hygiene purposes. Okay, this is a Zoeva brush, but you can literally use an elf brush or whatever you want. So I'm just taking a little bit on the back of the brush and I'm just going to start spot concealing. So she's got, anyway, she's got a little bit of a pimple. We're just going to cover up. So she obviously has some pimples here, but I'm not going to just go over the whole area because she doesn't have pimples in that little gap. I'm literally just going to be tapping on where the pimples are. Also remember, whenever you're spot concealing, you don't want to conceal to her face because her face is much lighter than her neck and her body. So her body is more this shade than her face is. And that's what we're aiming to get across that she's all one color so that is all spot concealed now what i'm going to do is with a little bit of concealer just because this is a no makeup makeup look i'm going to get her to look up and i'm just putting the littlest amount is littlest the word uh i'm not too sure or should i say smallest i guess it works okay <laughs> so i'm just starting off by her under eyes just getting her to close because the light's too strong for her See how I'm holding it very lightly? I'm just starting to very lightly dab everything that we did in. The reason why I'm waiting till the end is because I want it to look more natural and I, the longer you wait for your concealer to set, the longer the longevity you have from the concealer and you'll actually get a bit thicker as well. So that's kind of what we always aim to. You can't do this with all concealers, but with most. Now my, for my second little trick, now we all like our lips to look a bit fuller. Not all of us, but I know Joe does. So this is a little trick that I did on TikTok. It is, um, this is the Essence 07 contouring lip liner. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to contour her whole lip, but what I am going to do is just the middle part. Now, as you can see, this is literally the same color as her lips. So I'm just very lightly going over the top part. I'm not bringing it past her nostrils, I would say. Now with my finger, you can obviously do this to yourself. You just want to kind of very lightly pat that down and I'm doing the same to the bottom lid, not going past her nostrils. Now last little trick is I'm going to get her to close her eye. Now you want to get a felt tip liner or you can get a eyeshadow, um, a black eyeshadow. And I am literally just pressing this on the top of her lash line. So Finally. Now what this is going to do is this is just going to open your eyes a bit more and give your eyes a little bit more definition. So open for me. Do you see how it kind of just looks like she has something on her eye but she really doesn't. I'm just putting in a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. You can use literally a little highlighter, you can use anything. I just personally prefer liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just literally putting two dots on the temples here. Turn that way and two dots on the temples there. And I'm just using my finger to blend that in. Putting a little bit whatever's left on the tip of the nose. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you have an oily nose because that will eventually work itself out for you. A little trick as well is I get whatever's left and I just put pop that on the lips. See how that just added more definition there? 
Okay, everyone, this is the final result. Your no makeup, makeup look, but you still feel a bit like fresh. You're still ready to take on the day. How do you feel, Joe? I feel really good. I think you look really good too, and it's very subtle. It looks like you have no makeup on, but you also feel a bit fresh, you know? You're ready to actually go out. You can even go to the gym like this. You can literally do whatever you want because you don't have makeup on, remember? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep slaying and subscribe, my queens, and let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs>